Police in Wilmer, south of Dallas, believe a 10-year-old boy abducted by this this week by his father is tonight in Mexico. They also believe 10-year-old Ian Aguilar is no longer with his father. Juan Aguilar Cano remains tonight on the run. Police believe he, too, is in Mexico. He's wanted for both the abduction and the murder of the boy's mother. Fox 4's Amelia Jones is live in Wilmer with the update. Amelia. Heather, I spoke with family members today who said it's encouraging to know that Ian Aguilar is alive, but they still don't know if he's safe. The Amber Alert is still active and the investigation will continue until the 10 year old is brought back to the U.S. Meanwhile, as you mentioned, his father Juan Aguilar Cano remains at large. A positive update in the search for 10 year old Ian Aguilar. Police in Wilmer, south of Dallas, say he is alive, but he's not in the U.S. They believe he's with a family member in Mexico and no longer with his father, who is suspected of abducting him. Police didn't specify who the family member was or how he ended up there. They also believe his father, Juan Aguilar Cano, is also in Mexico. Police say Aguilar Cano abducted the boy after killing the boy's mother, Zulika Lopez. The SUV Aguilar Cano and the boy traveled in was found near a tornado bus company in Houston. The company charters rides to Mexico. Now that both are confirmed to be in Mexico, police are working with multiple agencies to bring Ian Aguilar back and bring his father to justice. Outside the boy's home in Wilmer, there's a memorial with flowers, photos and balloons. Thursday, a vigil was held to remember Zulika Lopez and pray for her son's safe return. Wilmer police say before this week they had never been called to the home. CPS also confirmed it has never been there in the past. Wilmer police say they hope Aguilar will be reunited with his family so they can see him and know that he's safe.